is Antipore Off Boxing Social in association with Betfred. And I'm joined by the former WBA World Super Flyweight Champion, Cal Yafai, on Zoom. Cal, first and foremost, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. That's good to hear. Now, obviously, I'll just introduce you there as the former WBA World Champion. What's it like hearing that instead of, obviously, you know, for the past few years, I've just referred to you as the current world champion. At one point, you was Britain's longest reigning world champion. What's it like to, to hear that now? Yeah, obviously, it's not, it's not the best. <laughs> but, you know, um, it's, it's, it's been difficult to get over. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over it now, I think. Um, and I'm just, I'm kind of getting that itch to get back to to punch in and training and and getting ready to go again. Um, what well, you know, Texas was um, it was it was an experience, so I learned a lot, and I'm look I'm really looking forward to coming back again and and becoming a two time world champion. That's what that's what I want to do. Obviously, we've spoken regularly since Texas. Obviously, we spoke on the day and we was on the same flight home. Since then. What have you made of the fight? What have you watched back? How many times have you watched it back your bout with Roman Gonzalez? Um, I watched it back once. And, yeah, just... Obviously, it wasn't the best. It wasn't, it wasn't great to watch, but... You know, it, I had to watch it to, you know, to see how, where I went wrong. And I went wrong in a lot of places. So, um, I fought his fight, but... It's just one of the things that, that, that I've learned from and that I'll continue to learn from and, and come back a better fighter. You just mentioned there that you felt that you fought his fight. Obviously, when I was watching it and then when I was checking social media, a lot of people were suggesting those first maybe four or five rounds, especially because of the, the wear and tear that Chocolatito will have on his body. If you'd have maybe boxed a bit more on the back foot for the first four or five rounds, he'd have naturally tired. That's when you could have put it on him. What was the game plan? Was that something that you guys were looking to do, but obviously didn't happen on the night? Yeah, hundred percent. But you know, there's the things that you just can't help. Um, my legs wouldn't let me do it, so I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hit a move how I wanted to hit a move. So, um, but no excuses, like I said. But when I, when I after the fight, there's no excuses. I go in there. I do what I gotta do. Um, no matter what happens, I will take the loss. I take it like a man. I take it on the chin, literally, and um, and that's it. Just gotta learn from it. There's no point in me coming out with a million excuses now, saying why it went, why it went wrong and why it never went right, because no one wants to hear them excuses. It's too late for that. And not only that, but it don't change anything. So it's better just to congrat. I congratulated him. He's a great fighter, and you know I gotta move on. Obviously, before the fight, there was a lot of talk and you yourself said, you know, we need to see how much Chocolatito has left. Is he still the world champion that we saw um, pre-Rung Vizoy or what, what What exactly should we expect from him? When you was in the ring, ring, ring with him, I know that he was successful and he stopped you, but did you feel like he's still the version that we've seen dominate those lower weights for previous years? I don't know. I can't. I can't say that because I was in there with him. So you know, I couldn't really. I don't know what he was like. What he was like two years ago yeah. or three years ago. So I just know he's in there with me, and he got the win. He done what he needed to do, um, and he basically just wore me down. Obviously, you've mentioned since then you're you're going to move up now. Eddie's mentioned you're moving up. Was the weight an issue at all with um, like said, Chocolatito? No excuses. Obviously, looking to move up now, then. So, what is the kind of a plan then that you've set out with Eddie and your team? Um, just, just enjoy my break. Well, not enjoying it because I'm just locked in the house. Yeah. But um, I'm just trying to keep myself occupied. But I'll come back. Um, I'll get back in the gym, and then you know, just take it from there, really. What kind of plan would you like, though? How do you kind of see the coming a couple of years? I'd probably say you've only maybe two or three years left in, in your own, or as I'd imagine as well, until you maybe look towards retirement, unless you disagree with that. But how, what, what kind of plan do you have for yourself? Um, I'll just take 
take each fight as it comes, you know. No one knows how, how long anybody's got left. I could say two years. It could turn out to be three, four, five, six, seven years. It just depends how long I want to do this for. I enjoy boxing. I love boxing. It's my life. It's all I know. So, you know, it's... Um, the moment I stop enjoying it, when I, when I don't want to do it anymore, that's when I just retire because there's no point. But I enjoy boxing. I love it. I um, can't wait to get back into it again. And then, just see. And my body's... I'm, I feel, still feel pretty fresh. I've been around a while. Um, you know, I'm not one of them that, that puts a lot of wear and tear on my body. Um, I don't don't drink, don't smoke, don't do drugs, don't do anything. So I'm pretty clean. Um, I like a bit of food, but that's about it. But you know, just I just just take it. It could be two, three, four, five years. Who knows? But I love boxing. I'm enjoying it, even though I just lost my last fight. Um, it's just one of those things. But I'm, I'm still in love with boxing. Obviously, moving up and operating at bantamweight, then um, knowing you has got three of those belts. Sorry, two of those belts. Looking for a third belt unification. I believe I've said that right. Um, he's obviously seen as the man of that division. A lot of talk whether or not if he was to become undisputed, if he'd move up. How do you fancy your chances against the the elite level fighters at one eighteen? Yeah, I think I've you know I've I've got to see how I, how I do at the weight at the start. Um, I think I'll be fine. Um, I think I think that's where people will see the best of me at bantamweight. Um, where you know, I'm I, my attributes will come into play, my physical strength, my power. That that'll be that'll be there at bantamweight. Um, so I think people will see that, and people will see me mixing it with the with the elite. At, the, at bantamweight, superfly is a very tough weight, um, and you know bantamweight will be. I think it'd be perfect for me, but we'll, like I said, we'll just take one step at a time. Um, I'm still fresh. I'm still loving boxing, and um, I'm excited to be back. Even though I lost my fight, I'm just lucky that I got to fight before all this shit kicked off. That's something I was going to come on to after my next question. Um... One fight, which was when you set in on a possible fight, spoken for a while, you've not really been interested in it, but his name's always been coming to, to you. Charlie Edwards, obviously he said he's going to be moving up now. He said to me he'd like to box at Bantamweight himself. Is there any interest there now? Um, I don't know. We'll see. See what the future brings. I'll sit down with, with my management and sit down with uh, with Eddie and, and see what the next plan is. But... Um, you know, it'd be, it'd be great to, to to fight, to get ready and fight a game for a world title. That's my main thing. But um, never say never. Now, obviously, as well, you mentioned there, um, you was one of the, the last ones to fight just before lockdown was put into place. How fortunate do you feel that, obviously, you was able to get a final paycheck before any of this was, was to occur? Because it at least will tide you over for the coming months ahead and, well, for however long this goes on. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the only positive I could take, really. Um, I got to fight before all all this uh, all this really kicks in. So, you know, I financially secured myself for a while, so that's all right. But um, I feel feel for a lot of the fighters. I feel for all the fighters that had, that had big fights coming up. Or any fights coming up, because as fighters we we rely on getting paid from fighting, and obviously when we're not fighting, we're not getting paid. So I really feel for them fighters, really do.